Telstra is claiming bragging rights for the first 3GPP LTE broadcast-enabled PTT, that's Push to Talk, on Telstra's live LTE network. The standard used is PCPTT, lots of acronyms here, sorry about that, Mission Critical Push to Talk over LTE, and it demonstrates what can be done using LTE for emergency services. Research firm Strategy Analytics reckons that the introduction of multi-SIM mobile hotspots and dedicated aftermarket hotspots for in-vehicle connectivity could be a boon. By using cellular networks, mobile hotspots can provide continuity and convenience for end users who need to keep their personal devices connected to the internet, it says. It's been the smartphone market's worst year growth-wise, with a rate of about 2.5% in 2016. But it's all going to bounce back this year, IDC assures us. Nearly all the growth will go to Android, which will get 85% of the market, Apple just 5%, and Microsoft will be nowhere. Huawei and Deutsche Telekom are using MWC to show off an all-cloud-based 5G end-to-end -end network slicing demo, including RAN, Transport, and Core Networks. Cisco, Jasper and Jupil have collaborated to provide a wearable mobile personal emergency response system. It's based on the Samsung Gear S3 smartwatch, but with purpose-built software for seniors, from Jupil to provide personal emergency response without the need for a smartphone. Latin America saw 4G connections go beyond 100 million in 2016, and 4G is expected to account for nearly 40% of the market by 2020, says the GSMA. 4G networks now cover 68% of the Latin American population and are expected to cover 83% by 2020. Thanks for listening to Telecom TV's Evening Bulletin for Day 3 of Mobile World Congress. We'll be back tomorrow with our final three bulletins. Goodbye for now.